every every trainer, trainer sold horses. I mean, every every trainer sold horses. I mean, uh, you have to, you have to, to to get them to walk. At some point in time, I know a lot of a lot of the trainers say, you know, you don't have to do any, anything to this horse. Well, at one time, he's he's had to be sore. The horse has had to be sore to to walk. And that's whether it's a flat shod horse. Flat shod. Uh, padded, it don't, it doesn't matter. The purpose of putting the chemicals on the pasture is, I mean, just, it just it makes the horse walk deep, walk real deep hurt. behind, hurt. Yeah, I mean, it hurts the horse. And then the chain does. And then work. you put the chain on top of the sore, and that makes it, that makes it all work. I mean, it makes them walk behind. Would it do any good to use chemicals if you couldn't use the chain? Mm -mm. No, if you if you didn't if you didn't if you didn't use the chain, you wouldn't have no no purpose for the chemicals. Well, when they use the putty, I mean, what that, it it puts pressure on the bottom of their foot, just like the bolts would do. If you was if you was tightening the bolt into their foot, it puts pressure. The hoof and the nail pad. Yeah, it goes between the the hoof and the and the nail pad. And it and it does the same when you when you nail the the pad down, then it then that that putty swells. When it swells, then they got pressure on their foot, on the sole of their foot. And that hardens. And that hardens. And when it when when it hardens, then then it's all it's it's there until they take it out. And then after when they take it out, the sore in their in their sole of their foot is there, and it'll stay there for a couple of days. Take it out before they reset the they'll, they'll take it. They'll take it out before they go to a show. So they're not using it. So they're not using it at the show, but the sore is already there in the sole of their foot. Oh yeah, there's been several. several there's what? been several horses that's been that's been lame or and even died over it. You know. So there's been horses crippled. Right. And, and once and once they're once they're the horses are are crippled like that, they they won't eat. They hurt so bad they won't eat. And you have to keep them on so much pain medicine that they 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 won't get up. They won't get out of their stall. They won't they won't go to the trough and eat. I mean they just they just you just usually end up having to put them down. So that's how they end up dying. They're so right. So crippled. Right. They're not sad. Have you ever right. heard of a horse dying of colic from the pain? I sure have, and and most of the time that's that's what happens to them. They uh, a lot of a lot of these horses uh, colic over over uh, we call it stress colic from what from from all the pain. Yeah, I've had I've had plenty of of. Uh, Feet of hooves break off in in the in the quick in the in the sole area that would bleed because of the band. Did that hurt the horse? Oh yeah, that that hurts them. That the uh, that that's probably uh, ninety percent of what makes a horse go lame. Is is the band? If if that horse ever breaks a foot off in the quick. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get some rotation in that foot when it when it grows back. And the horse is in pain until it. Heals. Right, right. Well, actually, actually, if 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 they've got rotation in their feet, they're they're not ever actually healed. I mean, that's. So they're in pain. They're in pain for the rest of their life. To a point, you could. You could tra you can train a horse to walk to a point, but you're not going to get the deep walk. Are you going to win if you don't? Soar? You're you're not going to win if you if you don't soar. When people soar horses, do they not think the horse is suffering? Well, it's kind of it's it's kind of like it's kind of like me. You you you're around it so much. You're around the soaring and, and what's what goes on with it so much you you don't really think about it. You don't really think about what it's doing to the animal. Not a big lick gate. Can you just talk about that in your own words a little 
Yeah, with with without I mean without the soaring, without some type of soaring, the horse the they they're not gonna they're not gonna do the big lick. I know I've talked to two or three or several different people that they they they've always thought that this is the way walking horses uh just that was their way of walking. That was natural to them and it's it's not. The only way you're going to get the soaring stopped is to get the pads and the chain. That's the only way. And that's because that's what's that's, used? That's what's, they got to have the pad and the chains to do the soaring. That goes on a lot. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's kind of like the soaring. I mean, it, it happens so much, you, you don't, we don't really pay as much attention to it as is what we should. I mean, there's judges being paid, uh, paid to, paid to tie a certain horse in in a show, and 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 tie they'll 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 tie one horse good, and then tie another horse that's probably better. They'll tie it down to where they can get the horse to win that they want want to win. What other kind of bribery? A lot of the DQPs and that's the inspectors uh, are are being paid to let horses through. Uh, they get paid to turn a horse down, or they get paid to to, uh, to let their horse be shown. There's several different things that you can do to to mask that. Uh, you can freeze. They've got freezing agents. They've got uh, pain medicine. Uh, right. Uh, shots that you can give them. Uh, what kind of shot? Uh, I know a lot of people use uh, Demosedan or, or uh, um, there's, there's several different pain medicines that you can use. A lot of them use different different kind of pain medicines. They'll 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 uh, what we what I used to call they'll they'll have them they'll check them at the barn before they leave and see how long it takes the pain medicine to to wear off or how long it'll work, and they'll have it timed out to where it'll be they'll have it have him ready to go. They'll know when to give him the shot and, and or and they've even got medicine that'll take the pain take the, the pain medicine out of their system. And that's that's another problem that I have too. You've, we've got we've got veterinarians that that sell us this this medicine and this stuff to take the, the pain me, pain medicine out of their system. That's that's over checking the horses. So the vets know what that's being the used vets for? they know exactly what it's used for. I have a problem with with uh, the vets. The vets will will they know what's going on, and then and then when when all the media starts gets gets involved, they want to deny they know what's going on, and they're the ones selling selling you the 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 pain medicine to cover it up. I would say 95 percent of the owners know that their horses are being soared and the ones that don't know choose not to know. I mean because you I mean I mean you you know you know something's wrong with a horse when it when it walks like that. I mean you you a lot of the people, a lot of the owners can't be that dumb to, to, to think that a horse walks like that with, with, without something done to it. So a horse wouldn't walk like that and be able to compete unless something was done. Well, unless it's sore. Can you just say a, horse, a, horse, a horse will not walk on his hind legs unless he's sore. I mean, that's, that's, that's just common sense. A lot of a lot of the trainers is a lot of the trainers is going to argue with that because they think 
they think that they they what they try to say is they're natural, and and what they're saying what they what they mean when they say they're more natural, is because you can you can uh, soar them with chemical agents rather than up under the sole of their foot. Right, they don't take as much when they when they when they're when they're saying more natural, they're saying they can be only be they don't have to be sold with nothing but just chemicals. They don't have to. They're not man-made, which all of them are man-made. The only way to win the celebration is is sore. And you've shown it the celebration. Yes, I have. I've shown it to celebration three, maybe four times. Were those horses that you trained? They were, yeah. They were. They, I trained them myself, and and they were sore. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. They were sore. Did you have any horses that you didn't have to sort of to show? Mm, no, sir. Every every all of my horses were sore. <laughs>